Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. This week on Dateline Schools, we're learning more about the Imagination Library and also finding ways on how you can help support this program for our youngest students here in St. Clair County. Tell us all about it. My special guest, parent liaison Jennifer Gunderson from the Great Star Collaborative and the director of the Collaborative, Riley Alley. And Riley, I know coming up next Tuesday is a real special day for you guys to be participating and really kind of get the, a big bang for your buck for those who want to help support the Imagination Library. Tell us about that. Yes, it's an exciting day. It's our Give Where You Live Day in the county put on by our Community Foundation. And it's actually a national day of giving. So it's 24 hours where we're just going to be pushing and the Community Foundation and a lot of other agencies and organizations in the county are going to be pushing for donations that day. And the best part about it is that for every donation made, there's going to be matching dollars. So there's national matching dollars, but there's also local matching dollars. Um, Imagination Library is going to really benefit because we were lucky enough to have an anonymous donor for that day who will match any donation up to $5,000. So we'll be guaranteed that match, and then there's additional matches on top of that. So donations are just going to go very far on that day. What what is the budget for the Imagination Library? How much do you need to have to make this program a success? Well, it's about $25 per child per year to run the program. Um, And with 3,500 children already registered. Our budget just keeps going up and up. So it's something, and we have about 10,000 children in our county, and what we really want is our goal is to have all those children registered, and in order to do that, we need to raise the funds for this. So this is a great opportunity to expand the grants that we get, expand the funding we get from RESA and United Way, and get all those um, people in our county to help support this program. Jennifer, what do people need to do to make sure that they, when they donate that we get this uh, doubling opportunity or this matching opportunity on Tuesday? Well, if they're making any kind of a donation on the day of May 6th, that, that will be entered into the matching dollars. So they can go to um, Give Where You Live 2014 org on May 6th, and if they donate on that day, they will be eligible for those matching dollars. What, what's the Community Foundation's role in all of this, too? We are partnering, partnering with the Community Foundation along with um, several other agencies throughout the county. So they're, they're helping us um, getting the word out, and they're organizing the whole event, and we're just kind of jumping on in hopes that we can raise some money for this awesome program. And is that Tuesday the day where they just make the pledges, or do they actually need to send the check in that day? Actually, they can go online and make their donation anytime the entire day. So they have 24 hours to make that donation. So they can go online and use a credit card. They can drop off a check to us here at RESA. Um, but we're trying to encourage as many people as they can to do it the easy way if, if that works for them and to go right online. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. <laughs>